Well, temperatures are going to go on the rise this week, and so that means it's prime mosquito season upon us. It's a big reason why some people are using a, an iconic park in Stockton now concerned about a closed-down pool that's collecting water there. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera shows us. One peek inside Victory Park swimming pool in Stockton, and this is what you'll see. People who live here in the neighborhood tell me the closed up pool behind me is an embarrassment, and they want something done about it. They look in the pool and they see the algae and the, the nastiness. Michael Rojas has lived in the neighborhood over 30 years. The closed down pool collects rainwater, making it a potential breeding ground for mosquitoes. Uh, something has to be done because it's just uh, an example of Stockton blight. Kathy Dunsing used to live in the neighborhood and says she learned how to swim in the pool. Finish the pool or, or, or take it out and get rid of the water. Turns out, although there is standing water, which can attract mosquitoes carrying the deadly West Nile virus, the San Joaquin County Mosquito and Vector Control District planted mosquito-eating fish in the pool water and sprays the pool for mosquitoes every two weeks. But especially this year, with the enormous amount of rainfall, everyone should be concerned when it comes to standing water. So it's really important for people to tip and toss containers and dump and drain standing water around their houses. If they have a swimming pool that's um, green, it's not being taken care of, we will help keep mosquitoes out of it. As for the Victory Park pool, it's been closed for 10 years, but is slated to be replaced and opened again to the public. Money from a state grant requires construction to be completed by next year. Mm. Our Kurt Rivera reporting mosquito eating fish, an interesting solution. The city actually shut the pool down in 2013, citing code violations. The pool will also be funded by Measure M monies, which is a quarter percent sales tax approved by voters in 2016.